test mic sound check hey what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic i'm going to teach you how to create curves okay so in our previous topic i taught you how to create points so this time around i'm going to teach you how to create curves so as you can see um i already created here the points a uh, list of points here so as you can see we have here these points i have one two three four five six seven eight eight points okay and the arrangement of these points is like uh, like this so this is the first point second point third point four five six seven eight okay so this is the exercise file i actually got from from the video of Mr. Ian Cycle, so thanks for him. So I learned this uh, Dynamo from him, so I'm just sharing it to you guys. So this is how he started to create this lesson for curves. So as you can see, we already have here series of points, okay? So we have used here list create to create these points here. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a curve. So for this one, so instead of connecting these points to create your curves, okay, like for example, I'm going to use your line. So I'm going to type line. So I'm going to select this one. So the input here is start point and end point. So we have two input here. So we have start point and end point. So let's say I want to connect this first and this second point. So I'm, uh, I just need to connect this one, right? So this is my first point, the start point, and then this is my second point. So as you can see, here's the preview or here's the line that was created using this one. So if you want to connect these second point to third point, so you need to create another node of this one. So you need to copy this or you, you need to click this again. So as you can see, you need to do it multiple times. So let's say... This is the first point that you want, then this is the end point. So you need to connect this point here as your start point, and then your point here as your end point. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very tedious job if you're going to connect it uh, one by one, right? Let me just uh, remove this one. So I'm just going to click this again like this. So let's say this time around the third point. I want that to be the start and I want this to be the end. So I'm going to click the third point as the start and then the fourth point as the end point. Okay. So it will be tedious job. So if you have seven points, so you need to have line by start point, end point, node seven times. So let's try to finish this up. I'm going to copy that. All right. Let's put it here. So this is now my fourth point. So, the fourth, that's the first point. The fifth, that's the second point. All right, so I'm going to click again. Here's my fifth. Fifth is my start. Six is my end point. Click again. Let me move this group first. All right, so this is now my sixth. So I'm going to connect my six as the start. And then this one is the end point. There you go. And then line again. So it's so tedious job. There you go. go. Of course, if you want to close this one, so you need to connect your last point to the first point. Okay, so let's try to connect that one. So this is my first, and then this is my end point. There you go. So I just created here a curves using your line here. And as you can see, it's a very tedious job. It's just imagine if you have 100 points. So you need to use line by start point, end point 100 times. And then you need to connect it one by one. All right. So I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you different ways to create curves. All right. So for this one, I'm going to show you how to create a curve using polygon. Okay, using polygon. So let me just hide this first, these lines here. So I'm going to right click and then preview just to hide the preview. I'll just need to uncheck that. Okay, preview, preview. 
All right, so right click, preview, right click, preview. And I'll just going to group this, select, and then right click, where's my group? Create group. All right, so this is, these are the nodes that I use here is lines. So these are the lines. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to create curves using polygon. All right, so I'm going to close this one and then look for uh, geometry and then look for curves and then look for polygons. So we actually have lots of tools here to create curves, but we are not going to discuss all of this. I'm just going to discuss a few of the tools that we can use to create curves so you can ex uh, explore other nodes. All right, so I'm going to select the poly curve, uh, polygon here. So I'm going to use polygon by points. Where is that? This one, polygon by points. There you go. So polygon by points. So as you can see, it only asks for points here. So instead of connecting all of this one by one, so I'm just going to click this list, this whole list. So I'm going to click that and then pick. And there you go. So I just created here the curves using polygon by points. Okay, so aside from that, you can also use here poly curve. Okay, so let me just select this one. And then I'll just create a group for this. I'll just call this uh, polygon. All right, so this is now my polygon. So that's my polygon. So along with my lines here. So I'm going to show you now how to use our... Let me hide this first. Right click, preview. All right. Okay, so this time let's try to use another way to create curve, which is poly curve. So let me just expand the poly curve. And then let's look for poly curve by points. Poly curve by points. So let's click this one. There you go. So as you can see, we have two inputs here. So we have points and then connect class to first that is asking for a Boolean true or false. So by default, the answer here is false, but you can use an, a Boolean node to make it true or to make it false. But by default, it's false. So it needs a points here. So I'm going to select here list, all of this list of my points here. So I'm going to connect that, connect to the points, and there you go. Now, it didn't, the last point here did not collect, uh, connect to the uh, first point because by default, it's false value. Now, if I'm going to add here a Boolean, Boolean, oops, Boolean, okay, so I'm going to click that. Okay, so as you can see here, the default is false. I'm going to select through here. So if I connect that to that input, so as you can see, it will close. All right, so you can play that false, true, false, true, something like that. All right, so that's another way to create your uh, curve using polycurve. So I'm going to group these two, right click and create group. So this is my, what? Oh, sorry. So this is my uh, polycurve, polycurve. There you go. Okay, so that's along with our lines, polygon, and polycurve. Now, let me hide these points here. This polycurve, hide the preview. Now, the next node that we can use to create our curve is arc. Okay, so let's close this one. Let's look for geometry and then let's look for arc. So you can see that in the curves. All right, so we have several tools here to create our art. But again, we're not going to do all of this. Let's uh, just do a couple of tools here to create our art. The first one is art by three points, this one. All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You just need to select three points here. So of course, we're not going to select the list here. So what we're going to do, we're going to click one point here. So let's say, for example, this one, I want this to be my first point. This one, I want to be my second point. And then the third point here. So I'm just going to connect. And there you go. You just created here a curve using an arc. Of course, it will update if you are going to change the point. So let's say, for example, you want to change your fifth. You want to change the third point using the fifth point that you have here so you just need to click that and then put that on the third point 
So as you can see, it will update. Okay, so that's how you use arc by three points. So it's very simple. So you just need to right click this one. I am going to hide the preview. Now the next one is um, arc by uh, center point. Okay, so let's try to do that one. So arc by center point, start point, and sweep angle. So it's a very long name here. So center point start point and then sweep angle so i'm going to click this one all right so as you can see by default it already created this an arc here a small curve of arc here okay by default because it already has a value of zero 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 for the center point start point sweep angle and normal it's the default value it's a vector okay but let us try to create our own um arc here so instead of having this default so let us add some points here okay so for the point for the center point so let's say this is my center point here okay so this is my center point and then let's say this is my start point I'm going to connect it there all right so as you can see it's just created this one now for the sweep angle okay for the sweep angle so i'm going to use here a number slider so number slider this one okay so that's my um, sweep angle so for this one let us try to expand this let me just put it here so that you can see it clearly so I'm going to expand this one so as you can see we have this one so by default you, the angle that you're going to use here for the sweep angle so let's say uh, 360 degrees oops sorry okay so 36 oh. happening so the sweep angle here is zero the maximum is 360 step is point 0.1 all right so let's try to play around so let's connect this to the sweep angle all right and then as you can see you are able to modify your angle here your curve okay so i'm not going to specify here this third uh this fourth input okay by specifying a vector but if you want you can you can do that okay so what you can do is you can look for because it's asking for an for an axis okay for an axis so it's vector so if it is for the z-axis so I'm going to look for uh, vector z-axis this one so I just need to connect it there okay so that's for my arc by center point start point sweep for the last point that we are going to do is we are going to use here a nerves curve okay so this is for our arcs so we have this arc by three points and then we have arc by center point start point sweep angle okay so if you are confused with the vector c-axis so we have a se uh, we, ha we have a separate topic uh, for this one so if we do a node library, as you can see, you can search for z-axis. We'll see that there is an input here called the uh, z-axis. So you specify the vector data. Okay, so this input, okay, this normal here that we are seeing here, it requires a new data that we haven't seen before that is called the vector. Okay, so look over the vector data types in more detail on our next video okay so but for now think of the vector as an axis so we need to specify a direction of the arc will revolve around okay so for this arc so we'll revolve around the c axis creating the center point uh, that we specified as the center of the rotation okay so it's just like that so that's our uh, vector z axis so again you can play around with this one okay so now i'm going to group these points here so let me hide the preview first okay so let me select all of this 
so group and this is arc okay so these are the tools that we use to create arc now the last one here is we are going to create a nerves curve okay so that's the last type of curve that we're going to cover for this one so let's look for uh, nerve curves okay so there's a lot of tools that starting nodes here that starts with nerves so let's just look for the geometry uh, curves and then let's look for a nerves curve okay so the nerve curves that we are going to use here is uh, 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 control points this one so nerve curves by control points that specifies points and degree so i'm going to click this one all right so as you can see this is now our node so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the points here so these are the points the list i'm going to connect there and then as you can see it creates here a smooth curve here okay so as you can see you notice it draws a very smooth one curve using each one of the points as a control point now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop here an integer slider to use for the degree okay so integer slider okay so the value that we are going to specify here for the degree is let's say the minimum is one the maximum is seven okay so i won't go into details about how nerves curves are calculated but think of the degree as how powerful the control points are okay so again the degree needs to be between one and seven okay so let's make sure our minimum is set to one and then our maximum maximum is set to seven all right so i'm going to connect now this to my degree here there you go so as you can see if your minimum here is one so as you can see it's very sharp here okay, but if we are going to move that it becomes smooth okay all right so basically these are just some of the tools that we can use to create our curves all right so again i'm going to group this one so these are the tools that we use to create our curves using a nerve curves okay nerve Curves. Oops. All right. So we have these tools: lines, polygon, polycurve, arc, and nerves curves. So basically, these are just some of the tools that we can use to create our curve. So on our next topic, let's try to understand what are vectors and planes. Okay. So if you have any questions, just put it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a nice day.